The three process refers to how we use engineering, ergonomics, and exercise to reduce the risk of injury in the workplace. So let's take a look at engineering number one. We know if we can create a better tool, if we can create a material that reduces the risk of an injury to an employee, or if we can completely redesign the manufacturing line to eliminate that risk, that's the best approach. Many times engineering can completely eliminate the risk of injury in the workplace setting. But we also know that engineering can be expensive, so it can be cost prohibitive, and it also might not be a practical approach to reducing the risk of injury. So in those instances, we shift to ergonomics. Ergonomics, proper body mechanics, more fluid body movements, and engaging the body to reduce the risk of injury. So let's look at proper body mechanics. That's what you and I normally refer to when we think about ergonomics in the workplace setting, right? Let's put the body in a proper position to reduce the risk of injury. But we take it a step further. We look at proper body movements or how to move the body more fluid when it's completing its job task. We know if we can enhance the coordination of the employee, if we can get the employee to create more of a, a rhythmic muscle memory as they're engaging with their job task, we're gonna greatly reduce the risk of injury. We also know if we can get the employee to engage their muscle groups as they're completing their job tasks, that's also gonna further reduce the risk of injury. But we also know that ergonomics can always reduce the risk of injury or even eliminate the risk of injury. In many cases, we can't get in the proper body position. You know, I think about the utility industry. They have something called minimal approach distance, which means that the employees have to work in an outreached or awkward position in order to reduce the risk of a, of a flash, which is much more serious of an injury. So in those instances, we shift to exercise. That's our third part of the process. Exercise, warming up the body before the job task, resetting the muscles after the job task, and strengthening the muscles outside of the job task to reduce the risk of injury. So warming up. We know, and we have 10 years of data to prove this, working with Fortune 500 companies. By simply getting the body through a thorough job-specific warm-up before the job task starts, we're gonna go a long way in reducing the risk of injury because we're gonna bring the body to a readied state of awareness. Now, during the job task or after the job task, we know that resetting those muscles that are being repetitively used also reduces the risk of injury. So what resetting allows us to do, it allows us to enhance circulation to the areas that are being repetitively used. It allows us sometimes to enhance hydration to the discs that are being stressed. It allows us to take the stress off the very areas of the body that are being put at risk through the job tasks. Now last, strengthening. We know if we strengthen muscles, tendons, and ligaments, we're gonna create more resilience within those structures. There's a lot of wear and tear those structures go under during an everyday working environment. There's all the tasks we have to ask the employee to do throughout the day. It's wear and tear. But if we strengthen those structures, the muscles, the tendons, the ligaments outside the job task, they're gonna be able to handle that wear and tear. They're gonna be able to withstand that type of stress. And that's how we reduce the risk of injury. So that's the three process. Engineering out whenever we can. Use engineering to reduce the risk of injury. That's the best way to reduce the risk of injury, but sometimes it's not practical or cost prohibitive. So we shift to ergonomics proper body positioning, more fluid body movements, and engaging the body to reduce the risk of injury. And we can apply those principles, then we shift to exercise. Warming up the body before the job task ever starts, resetting the muscles during or after the job task, and strengthening the muscles, the tendons, and ligaments to create more resilience against the stresses of the job. That's the 3D process.